What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar2 and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage video. With yesterday's Core Core leaks revealing three new Mega Evolutions that fans are absolutely hyped for, there have been a ton of speculation going on. But before we get into that, let's take a look at a new scan that popped up today. It's a scan that showcases Pokemon contests back in their amazing 3D graphics and it showcases Mega Evolutions in these contests. In case you're unfamiliar with Pokemon contests, it's a unique battle against three other to appeal to the judge the most, which can be done by using moves to boost yourself up or knock others back. There is an excite meter that changes according to the moves you use, and when it gets filled up, you can mega evolve your Pokemon. I was a huge fan of Pokemon contests, and this small addition is definitely going to add to it. Now all Game Freak needs to do is reveal the return of the Battle Frontier. But anyways, on the right, it details how these contests can help Phoebus evolve into Milotic, and many fans are hoping that it's a hint at a possible Mega Milotic, but at this point, it's it's not at all confirmed. Now moving back, this month's issue was said to contain a Mega Evolution scoop by Korra Korra themselves, who obviously work with the official Pokemon company, and I highly doubt they meant only 3 Megas. I mean, they revealed 3 Megas in the first Mega Evolution reveal for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Mega Sceptile, Mega Swampert, and Mega Diancie. This leaker obtained their issue of Korra Korra days ago, and was just keeping it low, leaking one scan to show they had it, and then leaking a few more the next day, and there's a big chance that there's a lot more to come that they just haven't leaked yet. In case you missed it, this was the first scan leaked, which updates us on the next Pokemon movie featuring Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. Personally, I feel like the plot of this movie will revolve around Ash and his friends being sent back to the past where Kyogre and Groudon are in their prime, having the battle the legends talk about. And you know who comes down to stop them, Rayquaza, who may also possibly be in its primal form as well, but it's just a thought. By aligning the scans revealed so far, it looks like these four scans essentially complete this double page of Mega Evolutions, and it doesn't look like there's room for another. When Koro Koro introduced Mega Evolutions a year ago, they also did it alongside a Mega Evolution scoop, which revealed six new Mega Pokemon. And with this double page containing three, maybe there's another double page containing another three. That would make a lot more sense for this. And finally, a ton of you sent me this scan claiming it was real, especially because a few Pokemon news sites actually fell for it and updated on it. But I don't blame them, it does look real and it did hype up fans as this scan lists Mega Drapion as a poison fairy type. It also brought up the hype that there may be a second double page of Mega Evolutions, but nope, it's fake. The art and the screenshot were both made by a very talented deviant artist known as Tamaume. This is the fan art and this is the screenshot, which is actually easier to identify as fake from close up. And this is the original fake image before being altered to look convincing. As someone who also wants a Mega Drapion so bad, I'm also disappointed. But you never know, maybe we will get a Mega Drapion. We've just gotta wait on it. But anyways guys, that's it for this coverage video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts on this month's Koro Koro, including the Mega Evolution scoop and the upcoming Pokemon movie. And if you want to stay updated on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire news, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the coverage. And finally, a ton of you sent me this scam claiming- wait, not a scam, a scan. This is a scam.